Did you or your team need time off for coronavirus, quarantine, or remote school in 2020 or 2021? The FFCRA helps most businesses, even those with only one owner or employee, to get compensation for time off because of COVID, quarantine, and taking care of children out of school. Disclaimer. The information contained here has been prepared by Civitas Strategies on behalf of the New Mexico Early Childhood Education and Care Department, West, and Growing Up New Mexico, and is not intended to constitute legal, tax, or financial advice. The Civitas Strategies team has used reasonable efforts in collecting, preparing, and providing this information, but does not guarantee its accuracy, completeness, adequacy, or currency. The publication and distribution of this information is not intended to create, and receipt does not constitute, an attorney-client or any other advisory relationship. Reproduction of this information is expressly prohibited. Only non-commercial uses of this work are permitted. Did you or your staff need time off in 2020 or 2021 for COVID illness, quarantining because of a potential or direct COVID exposure, taking care of a family member with COVID, or taking care of your children because their child care provider or school was closed or limited to remote education? If you answered yes to any of these questions, Even if they were in the past, you may be able to qualify for federal funds. In today's conversation, we will discuss the Families First Coronavirus Response Act, or FFCRA. When the pandemic struck, many small businesses could not afford to provide the additional sick leave that would be needed due to COVID-19-related illness or quarantine. Additionally, Many schools closed in reaction to the pandemic, forcing countless parents to stay home with their children and support them with remote schooling. In many cases, these small businesses lacked the reserve funds needed to pay employees whose children were now at home, leaving them unable to return to work but with no income. As such, the federal government created the Families First Coronavirus Response Act, or the FFCRA leave, which provides funds in the form of payroll tax credits to help alleviate the economic impact of needing to provide this leave. Businesses have through 2025 to amend their past taxes from 2021 to apply for this credit. The FFCRA covers leave taken between April 1st of 2020 and September 30th of 2021. If you have fewer than 500 employees, you can take advantage of the FFCRA. Even if you are a sole proprietor or self-employed and it is just you, you can take advantage of the program. Pro tip number one, if you have a paycheck protection program also referred to as PPP, you cannot double count the money. Make sure that the salary you are counting for the FFCRA is not the same as the PPP. For example, If you are claiming PPP forgiveness for all your salary in May of 2020, you cannot also claim an FFCRA. There are filing deadlines for FFCRA. The filing deadline for FFCRA credits earned from March 15th of 2020 through December 31st of 2020 is April 15th of 2024. If you are viewing this video after April 15th of 2024, the deadline for filing 2020 credits has passed but you still have the opportunity to file for 2021 FFCRA credits as the filing deadline for 2021 FFCRA credits is April 15th of 2025. There are two types of leave available. Emergency Paid Sick Leave Act, or the EPSLA. First, the Emergency Paid Sick Leave Act provides up to 80 hours of sick leave for employees at their regular pay of up to $511 per day with a cap of $5,110 for the whole 80 hours if the employee is quarantined for potential COVID-19 exposure or has COVID-19 symptoms. At two-thirds of the regular rate of pay, up to $200 per day with a cap of $2,000 if the employee is caring for someone under quarantine or a child under 18 whose school or child care provider is closed or unavailable for reasons related to COVID-19. A school closure indicates remote learning situations where the child is at home. The Emergency Family and Medical Leave Expansion Act, or EFMLEA. Second, the Emergency Family and Medical Leave Expansion Act provides up to 12 weeks of expanded family and medical leave, with 10 of those weeks paid at two-thirds the employee's regular rate of pay, 
up to $200 per day with a cap of $2,000 if the employee is unable to work, including telework, to care for a child whose school or child care provider is closed due to COVID-19. A school closure includes remote learning situations where the child is at home. You get reimbursed through a refundable tax credit. That's a technical way of saying that the United States Treasury pays you using money from employment taxes. Think of this term as simply a reimbursement for the applicable wages. Reimbursement is handled differently if the employee taking the leave is a W-2 employee or a sole proprietor or self-employed individual. For W-2 employees, you can get reimbursement by revising past Form 941 submittals using an amendment. For sole proprietors and self-employed, it is important to know that you can claim the credit for 2020 or 2021, even if you have already submitted your taxes. You will need to ask your tax preparer to file a Form 1040X and use Form 7202, credits for sick leave and family leave for certain self-employed individuals. You can also do this through the amendment process of most tax software programs. One last thing you need to know is employers may exclude healthcare providers or emergency responders from EPSLA and EFMLEA leave, and businesses with less than 50 employees can qualify for an exemption if the leave would jeopardize the viability of the business. Visit www.crisernm.org to find our contact information, sign up for coaching, access Crisair New Mexico provider resources, ECECD recommended tools to help build your business, and more. All resources are available in English and Spanish.